Hello, this is an Astroneer tutorial on how to automate the trade platform. With the Automation 2 update, there have been some changes in how you can automate the trade platform. So this video is going over how to automate the trade platform with the Automation 2 update. The trade platform does not pull or push any, any resources from it. So you have to have an auto arm put scrap on to it and I would recommend filtering this for scrap and then you have to have an auto arm pulling off whatever resource you trade for from the trade platform it does not transfer any other way than auto arms so and you're going to want to filter your output auto arm with the resource you're trading for so that it does not pull the scrap you're loading onto the the trade platform off so with Automation 2, there is two ways to automate it. This is the first way. Um, it consists of a medium platform with a storage set to empty, not empty, uh, going into a count repeater that's set to two, and then a count repeater that's set to however many scrap you're trading for. So there's the possibility to trade for either eight, six, or four scrap. Uh, you just set this particular count repeater to that, that amount. And in this particular instance, we're trading for graphite. So we're gonna have a repeat count of four. And then this is a delay repeater set to, if I can click it, there we go, the full maximum 25 tick delay. All right, so here comes back. It's gonna pull off your uh, resources that you trade for, and it's going to put scrap back on. Uh, so with this setup, because this storage sensor is flipping these uh, auto arms on and off, the process of loading is slow enough that even if we're trading, we're only loading four scrap on there, because of this delay, you can still grab all, all eight of the resources you pulled off there. And we just saw that it grabbed that and uh, transferred it off. So this is way number one. Way number two, so with this, we have a very similar setup, except that we have a eight storage here set to, with a storage sensor set to full or empty. And this is a medium T platform with a medium gas canister on the back. So what this allows you to do is to uh, trigger the full or empty sensor when there is either four, four scrap on here, six scrap, or eight scrap on here, depending on how much gas you have in the gas canister. The reason we're using gas canisters and not uh, uh, resource canisters is that the resource canisters could potentially pull in your scrap and not whatever you're using. So in this case, I'm using nitrogen, which cannot be pulled by either, either auto arm and the gas canister cannot uh, pull in the scrap. Uh, again, the same setup where we have this, this sensor flipping the auto arms. Once this is full, it transferred to the, to, to the trade platform and we'll keep going. Um, on the other side, because this is having this side, the input side is ha happening a lot quicker. You need uh, two auto arms on the, uh, the output side. If you're trading anything that trades for scrap for eight resources, uh, anything else you just need the, the one, auto arm because you're putting on either the the same amount of scrap that that you're taking off in resources or you're putting you're taking off less resource resources than you're putting on in scrap so this uh, the two auto arms is just for the um, situation where you're you're trading four scrap for eight resources so those are ways to automate the trade platform uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and thanks for watching.